I think it's correct to keep like some mid-range cards in this matchup, so I might keep something like Sylvanas or Sludge Belcher. Maybe even Harrison Jones, as stupid as that sounds. It's almost like your best 5 drop in a way against this matchup. Just because nothing else is good. Plants for Zombies too. Welcome. Crowfist. I was trying to calculate if I can somehow like kill over two turns with Fire War Axe, but um, I decided not to because he can just keep healing it. I'm not sure if I can actually race it in time. Death Bite is a little bit stronger. Still not sure if I can kill it. I might be able to kill it. I do five damage next turn, so unless he has like a. The worst would be Circle of Healing for sure. Definitely attack because the Armistead dies anyways to. The Blade Master so In the light's name. This is when I wish I had a whirlwind. I'm not honestly sure uh, what, what the best thing there is. I get a feeling I should kill that because Fire War Axe can deal with these two. I'm assuming Light Warren is going to get healed and trade up for the, uh, for the Shield Maiden, but that's like the more dangerous one in the, in the long run for me. It's like, it is kind of important to take out a North Shark Cleric ASAP. But if I went for that one, I'm not sure if I can remove the board. So yeah, I'm pretty confident in the decision. Wait, what just happened? Is he trying to draw cards? Okay, so let's say he healed himself, right? He had injured, he had an injured cleric. He could have healed the injured cleric and traded the uh, light warden. It means that he doesn't want to draw cards. Hmm. Yeah, he didn't heal himself. He just uh, here powered nothing, I guess. It's kind of hard to use weapons here. I was hoping I'd get one of his minions. Even the Northshire is okay. I might just go for like a minion spam game this game. I don't know if I can set it up where perfectly Alex and Grom him. I might just like spam out all the minions. I've already baited out one shower death. He seems to be a more proactive priest, meaning like he has a lot more. You know, he's using like Veln's chosen death lord. I think he's running less spells. I guess. I have no choice but to like rush him down with minions. I'm kind of winning on board again, but I'm low on life. Eventually, though, I'll have a revenge if he keeps rushing me down. I 
I don't think Brawl is that great anymore since I have a nice board myself. Okay, I need armor up, shield slam. Uh, that's three mana. I have Despite for four mana. What now? I have three mana unused. If I want to, I can play a minion. I don't think it's good. I'm gonna not, not play a minion, even though I can play a minion. I have to kill this guy. It will literally kill me, I think, if I don't kill it. I'm gonna play Ar Acolyte later, maybe when I proc the Despite to Droll. Like, he's never got a chance to use Cabal Shadow Priest, and it's very likely he has Cabal Shadow Priest, so. No mind control, probably. I'd say that's a good sign that there's mind no mind control. Since the mind control rag seems pretty tempting for him. I wonder what his hand is. Like, it's likely there's no light bomb because his board was actually surprisingly resilient to light bomb. He had like all like three fives, three three nine um, slimes. That kind of makes sense. Might not want to play Death Lord. You know what, let's go ahead and kill this guy first before swinging with that spite. I don't think I mind taking one extra damage on anything that comes out for more armor. In fact, I might even get another Acolyte. I kind of hope he doesn't have Light Bomb. I mean, I'm pretty sure he does though. This deck should run Light Bomb his deck, and he has a lot of cards. It seems like being like a proactive priest, I wouldn't be surprised if he's not running all kind of circle, like no circles in his deck. Oh, he is. Okay, I just have totally wrong reads. I thought he was running like double Light Bomb, no all kind of, no circles, but it was like the opposite. Maybe he's running, maybe it's like a hybrid, he's running both. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's okay. It kind of reads like it doesn't have shower death and stuff. Do you like to play with fire? I didn't play weapons, play around. Yeah, it was play around Harrison, but otherwise there's no reason. Like, there's a some chance he had Harrison Jones, and there's no reason to play the weapon. Like, I I I didn't need to spend all my mana. It's not like a it's not like a problem of mana this game. This should be okay against Shadow Man is still. Um, I don't want a cruel Taskmaster this Sylvanas because of the second Holy Nova potentially. Even though I kind of just want to, you know, I, like if there was no chance of Holy Nova or whatever, I'd probably do it. I still have minions. Some nice minions. Ooh, that's a nice one. I don't know. I never even thought about adding an Emperor. I just made this deck. I was playing Legend Klein yesterday, and I had really good results with it. It was based on what I was anticipating I was playing against. I'm not sure, like, not having it is a mistake or not. Like, one thing is, there's so many 6 drops though. Double uh, Shield Main and Solanus. Those are all mandatory, so if you want to add another 6 drop, you're overloaded in the slot. I don't think it's particularly important for Warrior. For control where it runs more on the individual power of the cards rather than 
uh, like any combos. Not that there aren't any combos, but. I'm gonna just coin cruel this. Revenge has saved me quite a bit at 12, and controller is not super mana intensive as far as like needing this. Like, it's like based on the individual cards, you know, that's kind of why I like that birth, not that important. Um, it's definitely saving against a lot of aggro decks. It's even saving against Grim Patron before. Grim Patron getting me to around 12, or 12 or below, and then I, I cleared out Patron's Dust 3. It's pretty nice, only one more mana. I can still combo with Grom. Wow. I guess this is trading Thermosmith. Should I take 4 damage to keep my guy alive? I think I would. Yeah, I would. I wonder if that's right. I'm a warrior. I have a lot of armor. And this is my only minion. If I had more minions, I would definitely trade one in. But this... Cruel is still like threatening his next minion, for example. Well, it's like I might not do anything. I'm gonna attack next turn, regardless if I, if uh, Eagle Horn Bow punishes me. It's just Eagle Horn Bow is just not very good, anyways, for here. So even if it punishes me, I'm not playing around it. I'll attack next turn regardless of what he does though. So if he plays like a minion, for example, I can trade the Curl Taskmaster in, cash it in against like a another Arcane Golem or Wolf Rider. Actually save the loot hoarders from his hand. Maybe it was because I uh, had the minion left still. You want to save it for the juggles. So it like kind of works out in these scenarios where like saving your uh, cruel, like your minion there on explosive, like even though you can get punished, for example, by Eagle Horn Bow, it's just not a very good move to when you have like you know 25 life or whatever to, to just Eagle Horn face and have no board development. I'm mostly worried about losing the board if I'm gonna lose this game, so like I like just keeping the minion there, anyways. I actually have lethal next turn because I can use his trap uh, for my Grom. Depends on what happens, but. Put this apple on your head. I'll show them. I'll show them all. Get in there and fight, maggot. Gotcha. To miss Karen. Oh, a random lethal. I'm gonna keep a three drop. I'm gonna. Hmm. I wonder if I should go all in for Fire War Axe or keep a three drop. 
that's why Warlock is hard. If you know exactly what you're playing against, like if I was, if I knew I was playing against Handlock, I'd keep this. If I knew I was playing against Zoo, I'd probably keep this. It's like directly the opposite. I don't have all the cards. I probably don't have cards like Hemet. Some of them. I don't even know if I have Hemet, for example. Dharma Smith just dies for free um, over two turns to the Chow. Should I could draw on Death Spike. At the, at the cost of losing one potential armor. I think it was worth it to not play Armor Smith first, actually. The one armor doesn't seem very big. Drawing Death Spike, it seems like a huge swing of the game. And the difference is kind of so tiny, anyways. Like, uh, 2 out of 22 cards is, uh, like, around 10%. Maybe, like, 9.5%, but... This game is looking decent for me, though. Because I have like nice tempo and Solanus is such a power play. It's not super important for me to attack there. It's a little bit better against Arcus, though. I'm gonna play my stronger minion here. Stack shouldn't run Molten Giants, I don't see a reason to trade here. Like, it doesn't matter, like, he has a lot of ways to deal 3 damage with Dark Bomb, uh, the Dragon, Blackwing Corruptor, maybe like Implosion, but uh, it doesn't really matter which one he attacks and then trades for, so I don't, I don't see a reason to trade. I might trade now though. No, that's making me not want to. Because I can do it on a board now. Let none survive. Race for impact. I'm kind of using my Grom activator. I don't have Grom in my hand though, but I'm not sure. It makes some sense to just leave it up and play Armor Smith. I think it's a little bit weaker to Hellfire though. I don't get to clear the board. Oh, this is nice. Because I clear the board, I can kill him. That's like another thing, like, feels like I'll clear my board. I don't get to kill him sometimes with rag if I don't clear the owl. Dull armor stuff opening is so sick. I'll show them. I'll show them all. 
I don't think it's worth it to attack and shield slam, even though I'd get enough armor for it. Alright, skip me that armor. I mean, it's still good for him for sure, it's just, it's decent for me as well. I think it still makes sense. Regardless, though, I think it's better armor up rather than the shield block. Because against Face Hunter, I already had kind of read this Face Hunter with abusive. I guess um, I'm wrong, but there's a. Even against Hybrid, though, I think it's better to save shield block. What I'm wrong about this is probably using the shield slam there. I really want to save my armor stuff because I have a, I have a sludge belcher so I can hide it behind. I'm not even sure if I should be that greedy with armor because it's likely freezing trap. Yeah, let's not be that great with armor. A lot of things can go wrong if my armor set just dies. But I I like saving shield block just to have more armor. Like uh, like say I've turned three, you know, whether you shield block or whether you uh, armor up, you should probably armor up for shield block if you have a good curve. And I had a curve, I had a pretty nice curve going to turn five. It still didn't really go that bad for me to use uh, shield slam on the mad scientist. Because I was able to get so much value from Iron Smith against the Freezing Trap. But I thought it was a face hunter, so I didn't think there were minions like High Main. Yeah, if I didn't attack it, you could have attacked my Armor Smith. Got rid of Freezing Trap like that. This shredder though is pretty beast. I need a weapon soon. I can take the hit. I needed Sylvanas here as my 6th drop against this kind of board. Really hard to deal with. Let's see how I do it. If I had one more damage uh, next turn, I had 14 on board. I could Alex and kill him in one shot. But it's so unlikely that it would happen. Like, I don't, th I don't, I wouldn't be able to do it. There's nothing I can draw that makes me have one more power on board. I go up for a lucky Boombot lethal, but it's likely that like he trades off somewhat to this turn, at least with the creeper into one Boombot. So I fi figure it's so unlikely that I should just start trading instead of just uh, trying to go for some kind of Alex lethal. Plus, even if I did go face the Alex, it makes the face damage worthless anyways. Uh, that's probably bad for me. I'm gonna attack and brawl. I should attack to get rid of the freezing trap. It's unlikely that my guy survives anyways. Even if, even if it does, it's isolated by freezing trap. Um, I just need to think what what to attack. I guess it doesn't matter. It mostly matter against Snake to proc it, but... It's like both good and bad. This is probably the best minion possible for me to win the brawl, but then these are pretty below average as well. Three twos are really above average. Especially in this scenario. Six, seven, eight, nine damage. Back to work. That belongs in a museum. I don't win with Alex, so I'm just going to lose to burn.
I needed to go low here in Alex and use these minions to trade. If I Alex last turn, I have like a 0% chance of winning, so... Yeah, no weapons hurt a lot. I wasn't able to start clearing out the shredders. The board just got eventually out of control. Let's not make this too complicated. I'm just gonna armor up and pass. It's possible for me to like attack or place my weapon with either one potentially. It's just too hard to predict what I need. Either way though, against handlock, I guess it's like unlikely that it's that different. So I'm just gonna play like a heavy value game, drag it into a long run to save charges. I don't wanna go charge like attack his face yet. Wow. Kind of surprising. Again, I'm still not gonna equip the weapon. It's too random what I'll need. I can't really predict it. Yeah, so against the sunny death spite. Against things like uh, like Sludge Belcher, I just wouldn't use any weapon, I just play Shield Maiden, for example, against 3 fives. Now it looks like this is a hard deck. It's not Handlock. I like this better. There's a lot of like things, I think I should save this for Implosion or something. If I can. Owl, if I attack this, what happens? I need to think about it for a second. I feel like I feel like I will clear everything. I'm gonna just check. I have to kill my own owl though. It's because it takes damage immediately from the weapon before death rattle. It's not technically a death rattle, so against him game boss, it doesn't matter which weapon was played first, like whether the weapon was played first or something else. I should, I should have attacked. I don't have lethal anyways. This is 6 damage, Gorm Cruel is 12, that's only uh, 18, but attacking stops his life tap. I'm not gonna attack now. It seems like this game is gonna be more for board control now, especially after my last move. I don't even have the Grom Cruel anymore. Like the Cruel after. So I might just have to go for a, a pretty grindy game as far as like killing his minions. I wanna save the charge. He 
He's already used a Shadow Flame, so I don't think it could be really bad to attack here. If he has another Shadow Flame, it's probably bad. Actually, no, it's, even against Shadow Flame, it's good to attack. Because if he attacks my Belcher, then he Shadow Flames, he can actually kill an extra Slime. I need to keep Tempo up. So far I have, but very soon I won't be able to keep Tempo up. And then his card advantage will kick in once I start running out of stuff to do. Like, if I'm ever stuck just armoring, like, pass, here, part pass, I'm dead, pretty much. He's not going to run out of cards, whereas I will. But so far I, I have been just keeping the Tempo up. Can't do it for much longer though, potentially. If he can one shot my Belcher, it's good to trade. If he can only Dark Bomb it or Black and Corruptor it, I should go face, getting three extra damage. If he one shots it though, it's bad because then you can kill my slime for free. Kind of unlikely. But it's not possible. I'm like risk. Need the damage. The only way I can really think of is Azure Drake. Now actually Malagos Morpul is much more likely. But Azure Drake plus Soulfire is the way. Oh. Hey, let's say it doesn't have Malagos if he's doing that. Because Malagos Morpul would have done it. This is actually, um, I'm starting to think he doesn't have Malagos. He has this minion, mind control tech. I, I don't know. I'm threatening lethal by going face, top deck, Grom. I'm actually win like, in fatigue or something. He's actually, uh, not able to tap too much more. Oh, I'm glad I equipped the weapon. He hasn't used any implosions, which is very, very likely there's implosions coming up. Come on, Grom. Uh, now, okay, so now I'm finally in the phase where I'm just here power passing. This is bad for me. It makes a lot of sense to actually brawl there instead of uh because I can still threaten lethal. Yeah, I think that was a mistake not to brawl. It's gonna be hard to get value from brawl uh from here on, and uh, I'm not sure if he has Oh, you know, he's, there's no way he has Malagos. He's he's Rag and Darker Boo. There's no more Dark Bombs anyways. I don't think his deck can run so far. It's just using the mid-range shell, like without Molten Giants. But, you know, it's running uh, more individually powerful cards instead of combo cards. Double Hellfire implosions are still left. I would... Maybe he doesn't have an implosion? Seems like he would want to play it before. Hope there's no Draxus. At this point, I'm playing for efficiency, like value, not tempo, right? We're in the last phase. Uh oh. Does have Malagos. He just cut uh, implosions 